Yo guys, KB here. Today we are doing another Udinese career mode episode. I believe this is number 19 and we have both Milan teams in this, both at home. So we start off the game here with our first game against AC Milan. Some people could say the slightly worst team in real life at the moment, even though both teams are never really as good as they were, especially AC Milan as they used to have the some really good players like Huller and... Ronaldo, obviously the Brazilian one, and they they had a very good team with all the good Italians, but they do actually take the lead against us. I think that was Fernando Torres, who gets in on his weak foot, his left foot, and then celebrates, yeah, it was Torres, and obviously they uh, celebrate with him. But one player we did get from AC Milan was um, Mbaini Yang, who we actually got for a bargain, but that was Torres' fourth goal of the season. And we actually go through here towards the end and that is just how the game ends we lose 1-0 and it looks like AC Milan have officially now I think won the league but I think it may be close but I don't think they're gonna lose every other game to be honest so I think they are far from it and I I don't think we can actually win the league anymore I'm not sure though but I do have the other episode recorded at the moment and I can tell you now that we cannot win the league but Inter Milan actually get on a really good start as Palacio uh, sort of just hits it across the keeper. And one thing about Lopez, he just can't save. There's some sh- 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 shots and headers he cannot save. He cannot save headers to one bit. And um, I actually like this Inter Milan kit. Obviously the last year, last year's kit at the moment. But obviously, tell me your team you support and what their kit's like this season coming up. But we actually do get an equaliser there, right? right at the end with a barbo and he does the violin celebration and this was a good well it was, it was good for well a team in the same sort of position as us a good job we didn't lose or we would be much behind as that's three points they would be getting ahead of us so that's quite a bad one that's his 14th goal of the Serie A this year but we go on to a scrub report we're coming to the end of the episode now guys here's just going through the some of the increases and maybe some decreases as John Flanagan's gone down quite a bit his stats but he hasn't actually gone down by an overall rating but it's nice to see where everyone's growing obviously Dina Talley's retiring but he has he has um gone down the rating but I think that was a couple of months ago but Muriel is back next episode I've already recorded it and like I said he is back but this is coming now to the end of the episode now guy leave a like subscribe and we got our next game after this squad report in may the third of may against hellas verona which is which you can see now and hope you guys enjoyed leave a like and see you next time